Oh, what a beautiful day. The game's over. Welcome back to New Soccer Wars. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester with the Niskel. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. So let me break it down how this entire episode is going to go down. Okay. We're we're in the end game, so to speak. And the the girl that we chose is going to be waiting at the stage for us for us to actually finish the game. But every character that we've ever talked to and acquainted ourselves with throughout the course of the game is waiting around to give us one little piece of dialogue, and that's what we're going to be doing today. Ah. We're going to talk to everybody, talk to Hatsuho, end the game, and that'll be that'll be your lot. Okay, so it's a little extra sugar on top. And since you did a 100% run. <laughs> oh my god, that's a lot of people. I'm pretty sure that uh, what they have to say depends on how much trust you got, but because we got everybody on, on the stage, I think they all have their own little scene. Yeah, that's it. If, if they're on the stage during the intermissions, then they got a special little scene you can do. But if they're not on the stage, they just say, Hey, Kamiyama. Well, that was cool, wasn't it? All right, see you later. <laughs> just a swift high five. Hey, good job. See, everybody's got hearts. There are hearts everywhere. Oh so many, my. So many hearts. Oh my god, that's a lot of hearts. So many people to talk to. Gick. <sighs> All right, let's you know, let's hop to it. Let's start with the let's least start with least you. unlikable people. So I have always hated you, Yui. You were a thorn in my side from the first moment I met you. You turned into be that character that uh, you know, oh look, it's a pervert, even though he's just standing by the bathroom, and you were obnoxious. You were just 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 a big old bitch. But then just because you lost. You're like, oh wow, you guys are great! I really, I really like you guys now! <sighs> She's yeah, essentially... This whole, th this whole thing is gonna be me uh, talking to each of these characters and saying what I hated about them the most. Oh good, because I'm just thinking Yui's the type of person to say, I let you win. Uh -huh. one, of, one of those uh, lovely individuals. Even now she's... She's referring back to when she first called us a pervert. Ha 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 ha, I'm a big old tease. But anyway, good work. Now that my animosity towards you is gone, I have nothing left. As for you, <laughs> guy who probably should have been the protagonist. Come to think of it, I think he would have been a lot more interesting if he was the, he was the protagonist instead of Kamiyama. Actually, yeah, you bring up a good point. He, he looks like a protagonist. He's cool, he's suave, he can cook great, so the ladies will automatically love him. Why did we take the role of a doofus? Because that's what Sega thinks of us, apparently. Us Sakura Wars fans who are just doofuses. Aw, oh, man. Aw. If, if we didn't have you to whip us into shape, he says. Oh, you mean like almost try to kill us? That's just tough love is all that is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, gotcha. Hey, so for some reason I'm getting uh, just visual imagery of Kamiyama putting his entire hand on their faces and just like slamming them down into the ground. Yeah, I need that or like a punch in the face or just something. Because he was an asshole. He's still kind of an asshole. He's still got that arrogant snideness I hate and he never answered for it. So go to hell. Now, right. see, if, okay, they actually, next. if they actually gave you options, you could deck him one, you know, right with that bandages, and then repeat the line he said to you, hey, I was just whipping you into shape. And then you just yeah, casually really. walk away. It'd be great. I, I can't mold Kamiyama into the kind of character I want him to be. He's, he's just the, the stupid simp he always was at the beginning, and now at the end, he hasn't grown at all. Kamiyama. Alright, now on to... to London. Oh, hey, you sword-wielding psychopath. How's it going? Hi, Lance, a little patience. Like, the game tried to peg you as this fearsome warrior that, you know, cared more about fighting than anything else, but then they realized, oh, shit, waifu material, and then they just completely sand-blasted sand all the character from her for the rest of the game. But, UDJ, don't you like a girl that could beat you up? 
Sorry, did you say something? Uh, no. No, no you didn't. No, no you didn't. I, no, I, I no didn't. you didn't. I'm sorry. You didn't. I'm you sorry. did not say anything. I'm sorry. But they just they just completely removed her character. After we after we beat her, she put her sword away and she's like, Wow, that's great work you guys are doing. Ha <laughs> ha. Friends with Sakura. You were kind of a non-player either. <laughs> I kind of wish he was. Like, Arthur seemed like the perfect, you know, pretty boy bait. And I think it would have been really funny had we actually had a scene with him where he had, you know, a personality. They, 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 t they tried to have a couple of, oh, may maybe they're attracted to one another type things, you know, him and Kamiyama. They, like, a couple of moments like that. Like, a, a ghost of a whisper of a suggestion of that. They didn't go anywhere with it. They didn't go anywhere with this character. He was just there. He's just there! The he, he's, he's suave, he's cool, he's calm, that he didn't really get any kind of growth either. I would actually love to see... Okay, hear me out on this. I would love to see a sequel where Arthur goes from pretty boy virgin to, like, Chad badass. <laughs> it's it's almost like the transformation from the director of Super Monkey Ball going to directing Yakuza. Oh yeah, that 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 is like such the craziest upgrade to a person I've ever seen. Itsuki, you were like, we only made fun of you because you were a difficult koi koi partner. But you didn't really have much agency over the sto- Oh wait, you're part of the Moon Division, the super secret people that were secretly watching and helping from behind the scenes secretly really know, and then they were revealed and then they didn't do anything after that, so you could have been cut from the game and nobody would have noticed. Hmm, I think the Moon Division can best be described as a tool to help you put your shoe on. You know, a shoehorn. That's right, Tsitsuki. You're a tool. But hey, at least she's a fangirl. Why do they all have character songs? That's what I was hearing. I thought I was going the insane. Side, the side characters have their own character songs on top of the character songs of the other five. Oh my god, they do. I, I couldn't even tell, really. I just thought, you know, I, I hear anime music in my brain all the time. Henri and Plum never got their own character songs. Or did they? I don't think they did. You know, you could have had a scene here, but I guess they didn't feel like animating that. Just another cut corner in the snowflake that is this game. You know, if I... F oh, here we okay, go. there we go. I, I was about to say, if I find out that one of the JPEGs just didn't load, I'd be very disappointed. I believe this is harassment. Yeah, I believe it is too, but I got a bigger problem. Uh, what kind of camera is that? <laughs> what fucking gear are we in? Oh, you're complaining about anachronisms now? I will continue to complain about anachronisms. Oh, it's just steam-powered... Bullshit! <sighs> That's a steam-powered camera. How the hell is she holding it? It's metal. Oh, come on, UDJ. It's an alternate historical reality. You gotta suspend your disbelief. Okay, can we get into the alternate reality where the characters are good? Can we get the ones where we actually get a good Soccer Wars game? I prefer that reality to this one. Please? Oh, sorry, that's in the Dark Realm, and we sealed that again. Well, can I borrow your sword, Sakura? Dark World, here I come! In fact, just borrow Sakura, the tool herself. The Mega Sword. I do believe there are a couple of bromides around here still yet to find. Oh, good. And... Ooh! Oh, hey. It's classy. Aw, that was a cute line. I really wanted to see you. Huh. <sighs> ah, Komachi. Another uh, basic non-player. Oh, yeah, we you were around a lot. We talked to you a lot. But you had to but you had to share all of your all of your character development with the other side characters who who contributed nothing. 
Hey you had all these side these uh, side plots about get rich quick schemes and all that. Uh, how are we gonna how are we gonna make money off of this? How are we gonna sell this? But it never really went anywhere, did it? Hel hello, Miss Wasted Potential. <laughs> hello, Miss Absolutely Wasted Potential. I mean, I only make that one pun joke and then she stops making puns after that. And they're just ugh. What a buzzkill. And the thing is, all she does is, all she does is sit there. Where was she during the final fight? They, they did literally less than nothing with this character. Like, what kind of wisdom did she provide that Tekan couldn't provide? Did. Ah uh, yes, she knows how to wield a, wield a sword. Well, so do I. You pick it up. Bam. Sword wielder. She knows how to wield a sword, she likes to do puns, and she likes to eat omu rice. And that was explored, like, what, once or twice, and then Im immediately forgotten? Chucked by the wayside? The compost pile of characters? Oh, no, she's just here to give, you know... T t nonsense, fluffy, you know, oh, wisdom advice. It's just, it's, it's just, just dumb. Yeah. Dumb, dumb, dumb. You know, I'm starting to think the character designer, he had a sheet of characters to use, characters not to use, and accidentally shuffled them up and sent them off. Anyway, back to Komachi. Another character right beside Hakushu in terms of wasted potential. Well, every interaction we had with Komachi was met with vitriol. And you were honestly trying to get the right answers, but every right answer made her hate us more, and yet, here she is, still on stage. I think I, I, think I had just enough good ones. I had, to, I had, like, enough good ideas to apparently make a count. Yeah, I think it's, it's ridiculous that she has these awesome Healy sandals, and yet never uses them. We never get to see her use them! You know, from a gameplay perspective, the fact that, you know, we spent a little bit of the beginning of the game kind of bumbling around, you know, getting wrong answers just to show how mean it is, you still came out with everybody liking you, and, you know, that's impressive. I followed a guide for about the second half of it. That's probably for the best. Especially for some of those those uh, really tedious ones, like like getting Margareth to get on your fucking stage. That would that would have been difficult. You got to say one specific thing and don't say one specific thing, and that's how she can get her on there. The only way. She works the shop. That's all she did. Yes, that was very fun. Just think how much, how much deeper of a character she'd be if we actually had that money simulation put in, that management simulation aspect thrown in. Oh, that'd be awesome. And that final scene right there, that last image we just saw, that would make a lot more sense, because Kamiyama would have been doing it the entire time. Helping to manage stock, you know, sell tickets, get money. I don't feel like we actually did much as a captain, though. I mean, we talked. When Sakura Wars 5 tells me, Shinjiro, you become a great captain, I'm like, yeah, I think I have. I think I have. I made some great decisions. I, d I did well for myself. When this game tells me that, Kamiyama, you're a great captain, I'm like, Really? What did I do? I feel like I just kind of said vague inspirational quotes Good. that I got from a pamphlet. Good. That was about it. Good job. You did it. You did it, friend. <laughs> so, so inspirational, right. how you told people not to give up. Another character whose potential was wasted. <laughs> I forgot she existed. Exactly. Hi, Kaoru. Hello, Miss Otsubone Trope. Hi, are we still broke? That's great. Good to see ya. 
Like, she, she was basically there to... She, she was alongside Komachi as the ship pilot that says, Things are bad! Everything that... Everything's... Uh, the, the, the evil output is 70% at rising! 258 knots until you reach the target destination! You have T-minus 2800 seconds to get there! Amplification levels are at maximum! God, I would have loved to have seen this scene play out. Yeah, really! Kamiyama trying to figure out, like, taxes and shit? That would have been hilarious, because he looks like an oaf. Also, motion? In my JPEGs? It's a GIF file. I, I know, but have they done this at any other point in the game? Yeah, a few times. Okay. I could see how you'd forget. I, uh, well, there's... <laughs> It's not very memorable, dude. <laughs> That's the sad part. It's it's, it's cheaper. <laughs> so, blah blah smiles, cliche fluff filler guys for babies. You know, I I've got a theory on the character designs here. So so uh. I'm gonna take it over to Love Life for a second because this fact about the characters God, themselves. No, no, it's okay. Please. No, this is about the background. It's not actually about you the got characters. Got 20 seconds. I got 20 seconds. So all of the design tropes of each Love Live generation after the first one were chosen by fans. Literally, they decided what worked and what didn't. But it seems like for Soccer Wars, it was a random number generator. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. They all look the same to me. Well, that's what I mean. But you just get like how many, one trope. How many, characters, how many character designers does that show have? Uh, quite a few, I think. Quite a few? I'd have to, you know, really look into it, but, uh, yeah. You mean just one person didn't do all the artwork and they all managed to look the same that way? Well, it's more personality than anything else. Really? Yeah. Every Love Live is a thing we will never see eye to eye on. Uh, yeah, I know that. That's why I love ne bringing never, it up, ever, just to ever. see how you react with Vitral. Well, I can't tell what's worse, this or Love Life. Hmm, this. Defi it's, def it's definitely this. It's definitely it this. definitely this. Because Love Live is still going. Soccer Wars, unfortunately, got assassinated by Sega. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> likes this game. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> likes the, the direction that Sega's taken Soccer Wars. Well, I mean, we've already joked about this, but that you know, mobile game or whatever, it's already dead. It's it is it's probably long dead. Oh, yeah. So they're trying to get Sumira to sing her character song because oh look at her she's still got her glory she her glory days are still with her uh, she's still as beautiful and graceful as she was but the thing is it's not synced up to the music that's playing. Oh Jesus Christ! Let me edit this. <laughs> let me fix it. Let me fix it too by hitting the mute button, and then and maybe the fast forward button, and then the stop button, and then eject, and then I throw it into the trash can. You know, I kind of wish Sumire had random moments like this, because she seemed like an interesting character, and then again, nothing was done with her except, you know, she's the higher up. They, they didn't do anything interesting with these characters, they didn't have the, the big emotional breaks that I was expecting. I think that's it! There's no emotion in this emotional game series! Now, hold on there, you mentioned series. Let's talk about this individual game here. Because you're giving me a lot to work with in Soccer Wars 5. This one, there's barely anything to work with because it is a straight line. I know! I know. <laughs> Alright, what, what else is wrong with you, Sumire? Uh, you, uh... You, you, you were there to have series continuity on your on your shoulder, and that was it. You were, you were a big old sash that says series continuity, so that way it ties into the rest of the soccer wars, but... We could have cut you, and nobody would have noticed. You know what, actually, you know, you know what would have been cool? If our, if our former head was President G. 
It's like, ha, ah, Kamiyama, so you're here to bring this shitty theater back up to snuff, I see. Ha ha ha, well, it's just, no, you know, he's, just, he's obviously an evil asshole. And then, early on, like, chapter two or so, he gets revealed as trying to work for the demons. So then he's fucking fired, you're fucking out of here, no fucking way. And who do they bring in? Then they bring in Sumire. I like that angle. It would have been a better reveal. You know, we would have connected with her a lot more. Instead, she's just here to be our boss and, you know, just kind of be distant the whole time. Well, that's the other thing, too. The setup with President G and the Demon Lords was literally brought up in one chapter and resolved in two chapters. It was obvious he was evil. It was It's so cliched. There's no surprises. Thing is, you can work with cliches. Cliches are there meant to be a device to help you, you know, expand what you're trying to create in your story. I think you can use cliches as a springboard to make good character moments and yeah. you know, further the story. But this game just leans on that fucking <laughs> on on those cliches forever. And uh, we got a bromide over here by the painting. Oh. Yes, those are flowers. <laughs> what a great plant. Sumire! Oh, hello! Early year Sumire, what's going on? Call me. Huh. You were hotter when you were younger. Bye! <laughs> I would love it if she said, What did you just find? <laughs> oh, okay, uh, bye bye! <laughs> Later! And now the Berlin Combat Review. <laughs> hello, useless one and useless two. You didn't do anything. You literally did nothing. I think you just said how how awesome Japan life is, where if you're playing this game, you probably already know oh, that. God. Either because you live there, or you play enough games to know that it's awesome. To, and, oh, oh, you you were there to be controlled by the demons, and that didn't really go anywhere. But, like, what? You wore a mask, and you fought us, and that was it. Like, wouldn't it have been a lot better if you wore the mask and were controlled by the demons and you started killing people? Laying waste to you know, destroying entire swaths of armies and stuff like that? And so then now you have to you have to atone and then we see the true warrior behind the, the, the militaristic masks you wear, but... No, apparently the mask is what makes you charming, and so says the game. So, you just... Yeah, now that I see... You're, just, you're such a neutral character. You're you're a nothing character on top of all the other nothing characters. Well, if you actually think about it, going through and seeing all these characters one after another, you can actually hear and see their character archetypes. The ones they follow that are popular with otaku, such as uh, leader of the Berlin Combat Review is a closet weeb. To some, that's adorable. And then you got the one here who is cold and small. That is another character archetype. There are, so, there are so many different types of characters that only appeal to a small crowd. Because they're trying to appeal to everybody, they cram in all these characters to try and appeal to everybody, but they don't get their fair share of development or, or you know, any chance to show their charm, so they're just... Window dressings. Hello, I am Moetron 3000. Please love me. Producing waifu, please wait. Producing waifu, 15%, 45%, 90%. Waifu creation complete. Would you like to create another? Uh, yeah, sure, go ahead. I'll take the harsh lolly. Thanks. Harsh lolly. Would you like it light or dark skinned? Mm, light skinned and with uh, as reddish hair as it, as is allowed. Would you like heterochromia or not? Ooh, uh, that's a bonus, but that costs extra, so nah, we don't need heterochromia. Please select your personality type. Mm, let's see. Uh, secretly hates me, very quiet, and uh, you know, shove that off, and eventually she likes me. You have selected Sundere, the default position. Fuck! Aw, oh, damn it. Well, all right, I already put in the money, so go ahead and buy it. <sighs> oh, forgot to pull the lever. <laughs> like, like, I am highly critical of anime. I know! <laughs> Which is... And this is everything I hate about anime, I... just wrapped into one package. That's why I found it so hilarious that you're like, hey, we're doing this. Oh, really? Okay. 
I didn't realize how draining it would be. Oh, Hiromi. Another nothing character. Waste! I don't know why... I don't know why we had to dedicate so much time to you. Your role could have been filled by Komachi, no problem. They just like the sleepy eyes and then the and the airhead, you know, the ah da da my 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 type character. Yeah, the uh, the sleepy dits is another archetype. But she's not even that sleepy. She's not even that ditzy. So why is she here? What's her personality type? She just just there. The soothing mother archetype is also combined in here. Thank you, thank you for coming to my National Geographic look at waifus. God, Kamiyama, stop. You, you shouldn't become a like it at this time of night or day. We talk about Manju so many times in the game, but we only see Manju on screen like three times. He looks so scary. Stop. It's the Moe tooth. But, but he has multiples. Also, are you really describing Kamiyama as Moe? Get out of here. Yeah, I, I don't like Moe in anime. Ga I, re I really don't. Guy wouldn't know Moe if his actual name was Mo. <laughs> and he was Canadian. Mo, hey. Okay. Perfect. We did it. We found the perfect anime joke. No questions, please. Now, the biggest character jump is if, if she was like, here, I'll clean you up, and then start licking his face in a weird way. And then you, he just, no, what the? I'm out of here. I think it'd be funny if her, her character type was making desserts. Only desserts. Can't make anything else but desserts. <laughs> like, she tries to cook ramen. Oops, I made a cake. <laughs> okay, I kind of want to see that. It's like, hey, uh, Hiromi, can you make some ramen? Oh, yes, yeah, sure. Oops, it became cupcake. What? Can you make me a sandwich? Uh, I made macaroons instead. Um... <laughs> Can you boil some water? Oops, it became chocolate syrup. How? Now we gotta go to the bath. You think now of all times would be a place where there'd be somebody, there'd be a scene here, but no. <gasps> we got the Chats Noir dance team. Oh, hello. I like that. Those are That's cute. classy and elegant. Yeah. There is no class and no elegance to this game. None whatsoever. Ha. Take that, new Soccer Wars. Get owned. Alright, let's talk about Reiji here. Another fucking <laughs> failed missed opportunity. Didn't this guy also get shot? Yeah, he got shot, but I'm, I'm cool yeah, now. He's alright now. Uh, wh what was the recovery time? Uh, two minutes? So, we're, they're supposed to peg these two as, like, you know, broskies, you know, good, good buddies, but save from a couple of dialogue choices, they don't really have any moments like this. Hey, uh, do you think we could see the photo, please? I would really like to see the photo so I can enjoy this character moment that we just had. No, we just have to... We we, we gotta feel oh. the emotion. We don't, you know... Tell, don't show. Oh, just kiss. We didn't even see him really do any mechanical stuff. Like he, he made the stage, he fixed the 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 uh, the mechs, and that's really it. But now, and th this is this is what's crazy. He's talking about how I used to, uh, you know, have I was in a real dark place back at the academy. But then this one guy, you know, really, you know, really, really, really talked some sense into me, and he was he was a really cool guy, and he inspired me. And I, I was, I was gonna, I was gonna help him out, and yeah, just, just, just all this, you know. Then I would, I would leave him behind and be better, and that's how he inspired me to be the best ragey I could be. Yeah. So, Kamiyama's like, huh? He sounds like a nice guy because he's obviously talking about Kamiyama. Mm-hmm. But that. <laughs> No! He's like, wow! I hope he's I hope he's really cool, yeah. Please call him a dipshit. Come on. 
It's like, how could you not know? All right, well... He's talking about you, you idiot! You know, if Kamiyama actually had been set up as kind of the idiot doofus bro, where, you know, he can't pick up signals even if they were bashing him over the head, that would actually, you know, land a bit more. So you know what it means when two characters have good chemistry? Uh, it's because they're so, they're so radically different yeah. that they create a, a reaction together. Everybody here is just water. Mm hmm And maybe slightly bubbly, sparkling water that's been flat for a day. You know, I, I just thought of a running gag for Reiji. What if he was still waiting for his first paycheck? <laughs> this entire well, game. Now, well, now... What we have narrowed down as the best character in the game. Hatsu. Already? Yep, we're done. We're not gonna go see That's the it. other girls? Oh wait, this is her this yeah. is her ending. Yep, this is her ending. We'll go through the other girls' endings next time. Yeah! I'm all done. <laughs> I'm all done. All done! Your shirt's slipping there a little, hun. Let me let me put that back on your shoulder for you. I like how they tried to make it casual, but it's kind of like she tucked the sleeve underneath her armpit, so... Why would you not think you'd be... Oh, okay. I get you. The Combat Review World Pageant. You know, I, I was just thinking of some of my favorite RPGs out there, and they're all based around a short time together with these new people. So, what if this was like the end of Kamiyama's reign as captain? Like he was being transferred or something like that because he's so damn good. I would I would kind of yeah. like this scene a bit more. I mean, I still like it because Hatsuho is blushing and that's adorable. Or how Muv Love uh, Unlimited ended. Ah, you okay, kid. Also, yes, I'm trying to make you cry. Why? Uh, Why? Go away! Get out! Nah, everybody's here. Okay, that's really funny. <laughs> this is all their loungewear, but take a look at Anastasia's! And... Excuse me? That looks fucking great! Oh, damn. It's the first outfit to not make her boobs look like gigantic <laughs> mountains! It's the classiest thing she has! And it's her loungewear! <laughs> of all things. Alright, team, all together as one! And... Start a dance routine! Victory pose! Oh, well, alright. Yeah, move out. Yeah, I, I mean, move, move out. out! Yeah! Wait, we're not doing anything, are we? We're not going out for like a mission. It's just like, hey, we all we awesome. It's yeah, go go team. We Ooh, did it. Uh... <sighs> wow, that's how it ends. And so our battle come to it came to an end, and peace was restored to Tokyo. Really? That that was it. That's the wow. End. Okay. But the game seems to really think that the game's the most important thing here. So, who cares about all our friends and all the previous Sucker Wars characters? That's all I ever cared about. All that matters is that the games are back. A festival that brings people the world over together. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I, I honestly thought you were talking about the game's Soccer Wars themselves. Not the the combat review games. Oh my god! And of course it ends with a fucking oh, idol concert. <laughs> just j just to put salt and vinegar into my open yes. sore. Yes! Where my heart should have yeah. been. <laughs> this is what you get for liking a series. Utter betrayal. Oh, I thought that was Kamiyama's like noodle arm. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, the end credits! You made it! You made it to the end credits! I cannot tell you how tough it has been to do this. I thought this would be a, a, just a breeze. But it has burned me out. I even thought about just stopping videos altogether a couple of times. I swear oh, to God. Oh, that's so This funny. was just so goddamn bad. I've never played... I, I might be hyperbolic at this at this at this stage, but I've never played a game as insulting and as draining as this. This was a mistake. This was awful. I apologize. I put you through it. I apologize. I, pu I apologize for putting you, the audience, through it. I apologize for Violet having to put up with me going crazy over this game when you know when the cameras are off. I apologize to myself because God damn it, I need to get some positivity back in my life. <laughs> but thankfully. <laughs> I'm playing good games again. I'm, I'm, I'm bringing games I like back on the channel, yeah. nothing that just that I just hate, 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 hate. And now I'm the, the, the fire's burning as well as ever, so. See, that's the interesting thing. There's a difference between a bad game and a boring game. And unfortunately, this game is, this this is, is both. really boring. <laughs> it's, it's both, it's bad and yeah, boring. Because when it's, when it's not boring, it's just being really stupid. Now, this is coming from an outsider's perspective, and the only game I've ever played in the series being five, and that's because you made me do it. Uh, yes. I enjoyed that a lot more, but I will say, seeing these design choices actually show up, it's been really funny to me, just because I can't believe it. I honestly cannot believe they did some of these things. Yeah. The, the, yeah, the, the, especially for the story. The story was just, it was awful. What, what were they trying to do? What were they trying to... Like, what was the point of the story? Well, I'm still going back to my theory that it's basically an anime. You just cut up into chunks and just force together one after another. Because that's essentially what we have is just an anime in game form. Because it has all the cliches. It has all the tropes. No, no, no. Asura's Wrath was an anime in game no, form. No, it was fucking awesome. <laughs> you you hold your it, tongue. Uh, yeah, yeah. But, but yeah. It, it, no, I'm, it's, that's what I'm saying. It was an anime in game form. This is just, well, a fucking... This is a wank pillow in game form. Well, you form. also have to think, it was structured as a anime in game form, so they actually, like, put commercial breaks in. This one... This was structured with spaghetti noodles. Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. Spaghetti all around. No meatballs, unfortunately. Just plain old spaghetti with butter. Not even butter, just plain spaghetti. Mm, you know, maybe maybe a bit of pasta water here and there, you know, just to make sure. <laughs> Pla plain spaghetti with a side of mustard. Like, why mustard? Uh, because. In it's like, I don't I don't want mustard, and then they, they give you more mustard on top of that. It's no, like, no, no I would like tomato sauce. Okay, here's your tomato sauce. We'll add mustard on top of that. No, I don't want fucking mustard with my spaghetti, <laughs> goddammit! I don't want soccer on my fucking game! And then they just add more mustard and mustard until, hey, can I have some spaghetti noodles with my mustard, please? The noodles are hard and undercooked. Ah. And Not even a good al dente. Like, the only good parts of this game are, like, the parts of the noodles that haven't been covered in mustard. There were, like, there were just a few good things. Yes! Yeah. A very scant few. Like, the graphics. The game looks fantastic. That's about all I got. That and maybe parts of the combat. But even that gets sour later. There's a few moments I really enjoyed, like, not story-wise, but just interaction-wise, like... There are a few, yeah, there's, 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 there's a few good ones. Now this, but overall, final score, four out of ten. Oh, that's and I'm yeah, being generous that's very there. generous. And like, if I actually cared about these people, this would be a great ending. But uh, who are half of them? Yeah, I, I don't, don't care about half of them. I hate the other half, and really, there's only one girl that I care about. And of course, the girl I chose is not center stage. What is this bullshit? Oh, that's hilarious. I just realized that, yeah. Well, hey, at least your chosen girl is looking fabulous right now. She's rocking it. Look at her. That'd be a great time to bring in one of those death idol games in there, like they just start shoving each <laughs> other off. Ah, uh, all right, I'll blame you then. Oh, okay, that's fine. And I'll blame you. 
Oh shit, I really wish they would have brought that Death Idol game over to the States. I would have played the fuck out of that. Can I go back to Yakuza yet, Sega? Thanks. Well, they are. Now time for Hatsuho's ending. What do we know about Hatsuho? Well, she uh, likes festivals, so let's just have her go to a fucking festival because that's all we know about her. God, just imagine if your one endearing character trait was going to parties. <gasps> Why wasn't this an unlockable costume? Well, you're looking great. Let's have some fun. Yes. Right? Allow me to win you a goldfish. Get a mask. Yes. Yeah, there's there's the goldfish thing. Have some cotton candy. Do, hold hands, and you take it way too seriously. Oh my god, she's so cute. Only thing we're missing now is the yes. fireworks. Fireworks. Slowly brush her hair aside, Kamiyama. This is romantic. I should be happy, I guess. There! If that's all the closer we're going to get to a happy ending, then fine, I'll take it. Oh, wait. Yes! They they actually yes! do it. They actually Fucking kiss. Fucking something! Which kind of su <laughs> surprised me, that's for sure. God, it's actually worth it! A little bit. That's kind of where most of the four points come out of, because at least the uh, endings are indeed endings. Not, we'll continue to support ourselves. Oh, oh, oh as long as I have you behind my wings, <laughs> we're going to be good. Yeah, blah, 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 Thank blah, blah. God. I actually didn't expect that. That's awesome. So the end is not the end, my friend, because next time on Sakura Wars, we got still some things to do. We got bromides to get, endings to get, and a couple other things. So let's go ahead and start New Game Plus. Next time on the finale... Let's play new Sakura Wars. Let's get started. Good luck.